In this Outperform review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this trading advice platform. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Outperform. Outperform gives you the best professional trading advice, verified by data for any stock. Upon logging in, we come over to the dashboard where it displays the top performing predictions. This is automatically set to 1,750 stocks, but you can set this all the way up to 5,000. In this section here, we've got the most buy recommendations, and these are low risk. So we've got McDonald's, Cigna, and Meta platforms. Next to there, we have the highest predicted upside, which is of course has higher risk. This has IMAX, Delta Airlines, and customer. Next to that, we have buy recs with high upside, so that's medium risk. And we've got Meta, Zoetis, and Johnson & Johnson. Below there, we also have the top 100 predictions. And under there, we have new predictions. So this is set to four days old. We could set this to six, eight, 10, or 12 days old. This is displaying 515 predictions. Same with the new predictions, we've got the most buy recommendations, buy recs, and buy recs with high upside, as well as the newest 100 predictions. Below there, we have the My Portfolio section. You have the option to add a CSV file, or we can add our own stocks. You can also do the same for stocks you're watching, or you could just upload a CSV file. What I will do in a few moments is add a few stocks to there. Finally, we also have my predictions and analysts. So if I just scroll back up to the top and say I wanted more information on the McDonald's stock, then I could click on here and this displays loads of information for us. We've got our market cap and the PE ratio, as well as a graph here, and we could filter this by day, five days, one year, three months, etc. We also have an array of predictions from analysts. So as you can see here at the top one, we've got John Ivanko, who's with the firm JP Morgan. We've got the recommendation, the price target, upside, action, days old, stock score, and analysis score, as well as this little pie graph here, which shows the recommendations. So we've got buy and hold. No one's got sell. You can, of course, do this with any of the stocks. You can just click onto them, and we have that same information. So say if you already own some stocks, but you didn't have it in a CSV file, you could click on stocks I own, click on the plus there, and you can enter the name or symbol. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter a few here. So I've just added in a few stocks that I own. And as we can see here, it's got the name, it's got the recommendation. So a couple of these are not applicable, but for Starbucks, we've got hold. And for 3M, we have sell. It's got the price, predicted upside, and the gain and loss. You can also do the same for stocks I'm watching and just add some stocks that you were looking out for. You'll also notice that a My News section appears and this has got information about our stocks. So because we added Walt Disney, tech companies know how to make money in Hollywood, but here's why Apple has an advantage, Tesla, YouTube isn't cool with videos of Tesla, FSD beta testing on kids etc. That's just sourcing news about our stocks. We also have the My Predictions section where analysts have their recommendations. We've obviously got what firm they're from, the recommendations, so we've got Outperform, Buy, we have the Price Target, Upside, Action, Days Old, Stock Score, and Analysis Score. In the analysis section, you also have the option to add a particular analysis. Below dashboard, we have search. Here is where you could search for a particular company or an analysis. So I could search for Amazon, a few details, and then that will bring us over to this page where we've got the graph, predictions, and the recommendations, and the predictions from analysis. Below search, we have predictions by sector. Here we have a few different filter types. We've got sector performance, top performing predictions, new predictions, and buy predictions. So on sector performance, as we can see here, we've got the performance of utilities, energy, telecom services, industrials, consumer discretionary, real estate, financials, 
consumer staples, materials, healthcare, and information technology. And you also have the option to filter it by the day, by five days, the month, three months, or a year. If we click on top performing predictions, this will show us the best performing sectors, new predictions, buy predictions, and new buy predictions. Below predictions by sector, we also have filter all predictions. Here we could select a sector, so I could go for energy, industry, we could go energy, equipment and services, recommendations, and I'll go for buy and equivalents, actions, I'll go for all actions, set the minimum upside value, the max days old value, the minimum analysis score and the minimum stock score. And then if I go ahead and go and submit, then this will bring this up for us, any results. So we've only got one result that's come up, but that's okay. So that's for Patterson, UTI, Energy Incorporated. Below filter all predictions, we have stock score. So this takes us over to a tutorial video that tells us about the stock score and how it's calculated. We also have an about section, account and log out. And that's pretty much everything. So what did I think of Outperform? Outperform was a fantastic tool for all things trading advice. I love how you could see analysis recommendations and also the firm that those analysis were from. It also went into a lot of detail with every stock, which is exactly what you want with anything financial. I really enjoyed using Outperform and I would definitely recommend it. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.